If you're a lawyer, then you should be concerned about artificial intelligence and how it's gonna shake up the legal industry. For me, artificial intelligence or AI has always seemed too futuristic for me to take seriously. But recently, AI has been taking the world by storm, but not like in a Skynet apocalyptic sense. I don't want you freaking out. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you an example of what artificial intelligence is capable of doing today. You're gonna to see a real-time example. And then I'm gonna share with you my predictions on how artificial intelligence is going to affect the legal industry. Welcome to Law Venture, a channel devoted to lawyers and future lawyers. My name's Jarrett Stone. I'm the owner of Stone Firm PLLC, but more importantly, I'm going to be your guide to talking about artificial intelligence. I'm not gonna lie, my artificial intelligence knowledge is very limited, and prior to maybe two weeks ago, was only limited to movies. But about two weeks ago, I had a family member reach out to me and say, Jarrett, you need to check out ChatGPT and see how it can help out with your legal career and your law firm. I had no idea what ChatGPT was, so I did some Googling. And ChatGPT, fairly recently, exploded overnight in a non-apocalyptic way for all those that have seen Terminator. And so I decided to hop onto ChatGPT, which is an AI chatbot, to see if I could use it as a tool and a resource for my law firm to see if there were any benefits there or any reasons to be concerned as well. Anyways, whenever I was checking out ChatGPT, I was basically sending messages to a chatbot asking it to provide specific legal arguments to conduct a cross-examination example, write an opening statement, explain hearsay, and also create a motion in limine. And I have to say that this AI did an eerily solid job. Now, it's one thing for me to tell you about my first experience with AI and ChatGPT, but I would much rather show you so you can see it in real time. So up right now, we have ChatGPT ready to go. At this point, it's a lot like having an examination as a lawyer. Your best answers are going to be dependent on how good your questions or queries are. So before recording this video, I wrote out on my Apple Notes a prompt and ultimate question to ask ChatGPT, which is copied. I'm gonna paste it right now. The query says, here are details about a personal injury case. The defendant rear-ended the plaintiff. At the scene of the collision, the defendant admitted to plaintiff that the defendant was texting and driving prior to the collision. Plaintiff could smell alcohol on the defendant. The police arrived and ultimately arrested the defendant for driving while under the influence of alcohol. The case is under Texas law. I'll be honest with you, this is an actual case that I currently have. We haven't filed suit on it, but this next part is something that I would anticipate would come up. Plaintiff filed a lawsuit claiming gross negligence against the defendant. The defendant filed a motion for summary judgment to plaintiff's gross negligence claim. Please write a response to defendant's motion for summary judgment to plaintiff's gross negligence claim. This isn't the best writing of all time, but I wanted to be as pinpoint and as bullet point as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button here and let's see what comes up. Okay, so let's go through the AI's response that we could use in responding to a motion for summary judgment on this case. It appears that the defendant in this case has admitted to texting and driving prior to the collision and was subsequently arrested for driving while under the influence of alcohol. This evidence suggests that the defendant was acting with a high degree of carelessness and disregard for the safety of others on the road. In Texas, Gross negligence is defined as an act or omission that is, quote, so reckless or wanting in care that it amounts to a conscious disregard for the safety of others, end quote. Given the defendant's admissions and arrests for DUI, it seems likely that a court could find that the defendant's actions amounted to gross negligence. Therefore, it is possible that a court could deny the defendant's motion for summary judgment on the plaintiff's gross negligence claims. It would be up to the court to determine 
based on the evidence presented, whether the defendant's actions met the threshold for gross negligence under Texas law. Was this response from AI better than what most lawyers can do? Absolutely not, but this is just the beginning. It is only a matter of time until AI can write fully briefed arguments. As a result of the incoming future, I think law firm owners should be rejoicing and associate lawyers should probably be freaking out a little bit. As of right now, in a way, law firm owners are currently paying a subscription for legal writing. That subscription is the salary for the legal writing that comes from the associate. But what happens when law firms start paying subscriptions for AI services that can write legal arguments in seconds that may take the associate hours? Better yet, what happens when AI can start absorbing case law like that? In fact, let's take it a step further. What happens when AI can perfect the legal writing style of the law firm owner? The short and global answer here is that AI in the future is most likely going to become an essential tool for law firms. If you're an associate lawyer, whenever AI becomes an essential tool for law firms, then you really need to be worried and concerned about terminators. I mean, terminations. If it takes AI seconds for what it would take an associate lawyer hours or days to accomplish, then once AI becomes an essential tool, the associate's workload is going to be greatly reduced. I'm definitely not saying that an associate is going to become obsolete for law firms, but what I am saying is that when it comes to the legal writing side, which an associate typically spends a lot of their time doing, if that workload goes down, then associates may see themselves making less money on their salary or there may be less positions available. So currently, as of right now, we are in the golden age of being an associate, right? The great resignation. But that pendulum may fully swing once AI comes into play because less position means more competition for associates, which may make it harder and more difficult to get a job, especially if AI is carrying most of the weight. Law firm owners that utilize artificial intelligence should start to see incredible results. Presumably, AI should allow law firms to reduce their expenses to an incredible amount because AI doesn't ask for a salary, doesn't ask for a bonus, and doesn't need benefits. Plus, AI doesn't eat or sleep, so it can continuously create output for the law firm. If I boil it all down, AI allows law firms to achieve more with less. And as a result, my prediction is that once AI comes into its own as a legal resource, we're gonna see an exponential explosion of lawyers starting their own small law firm. But that's just one lawyer's opinion. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Now, if you're still watching this video, first things first, I appreciate you. Second, be sure to hit the like button down below to show your support. Hitting the like button allows videos like this to rank higher, reach more people, and ultimately help more people. That's always the goal. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video.